So I guess Virgil is here to stay. Yo, welcome back to Thoughts for the Soul. Glad you're here. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. So today, I want to take a look at, I want to do a quick review on my second favorite off-white to drop last year, the Off-White 5 Sale Colorway. Let's get into the kicks. So as you can see, Virgil went the Swiss cheese route with the design of the box. Um, I saw a lot of people like really upset about it, but for me, I mean, it wasn't, I didn't take it as being different for the sake of being different. It's a cool design, you know, you get to look into the actual, actual shoe box and see what you're about to be rocking. Like it gives you like a collector's feel, in my opinion. Enough about the box. Let's truly dive in. So first... I mean, I'm, we're going to look at the 23, man. It's one of my favorite design cues of the Jordan 5. And I'm glad Virgil brought this on this pair. Like, it really does add something to it. Then you have your Nike Air on the back. And I really like this material that they used. Moving to the bottom, you got your Nike, classic Nike on the bottom. Um, and then I, I'm really feeling this, this yellow sole. Like, it gives it a vintage age look. Off-white Nike stamp of approval, um, and a little bit more yellowing on the eye stays. Then taking a look at the tongue, man, um, Virgil put this hole there. I mean, it gives it a nice flavor, though. And then immediately on the inside, you have your upside-down Air Jordan stitched in, in there. Overall, I love this shoe, man. Um, it was inspired by my favorite Jordan 5 of all time, the Fire Red 5, um, probably my very first pair to start my collection of sneakers. I mean, I've had this pair since 06, and we have been to hell and back. Overall, I just really like what Virgil did with this sneaker. I like it better than the black pair. My favorite design cue of the Jordan 5 is the little teeth on the on the midsole man um they just add such a flair they were inspired by fighter jets that had teeth inspired by the actual teeth of sharks um and i just think that's that's pretty cool so if you don't know um these the jordan 5 was the very first pair of jordans that virgil ever bought with his own money and you know as a child how that experience can be um he originally purchased the metallic jordan fives um at first that was maybe my favorite pair of jordans but once i got them the fire reds became just that shoe for me and i'm still waiting on a black tongue retro with the 23 on the side and nike on the back Please make it happen, Jordan Brand. So with the sales, this is probably why um, I favored this one over the first Off-White 5 to drop because it is resembling the Fire Red 5s. And um, the black pair just didn't do too much for me. I mean, if you just take a look at my Fire Red 5s, um, I believe they dropped in 06. If you could just look at these and just see, like, I'm holding on to them until Jordan Brand does a retro on these you may be asking yourself what was my favorite off-white jordan to drop last year and that was the four like um i don't know i didn't see any update or anything on if virgil still plans to release them in men's sizing but i hope he does this year with the bread fours that are supposed to be dropping but um by all accounts and signs it looks like off-white is gonna be here to stay with with jordan um you have the canary yellow ones that are supposed to be dropping. You have your uh, the bread fours, as I mentioned, that are supposed to be dropping. Um, and not just with Jordan, just with Nike, period. Um, there are supposed to be more dunks, uh, dunk lows on the way as well in conjunction with Off-White. And I also saw uh, an article, a post recently, you know, stating that there will be the 20 that's supposed to be dropping. I didn't get a chance to watch the icons 
event on sneakers because I was working at the time. I also missed out on the book. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what all comes from that that 20 pairs that's supposed to be dropping this year. Hopefully, it's not as bad as the original 10 drop. That day almost made me quit sneakers. Like, And I'm not just talking about the app. I'm talking about just retire from the game of sneakers, period. So yeah, man, this was um, my quick look at the sale off White 5. Um, thanks for tuning in again. Till next time, peace.